Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with this drawer because I already know there's some stuff in here that I want to get rid of. So let's go ahead and jump in. We're gonna go ahead and start in this little section. I hope the angle is fine. I already know I wanna get rid of this e.l.f. highlighter because I just don't use it. It's not my cup of tea. I'm sure somebody else will enjoy this. I'm probably gonna depop this. It's in the shade Rose Gold and it's a really pretty highlighter. It just takes a little bit of work of building up, but nonetheless, it's really nice. But like I said, not my cup of tea, so let's go ahead and get rid of this. So for powder, I think I'm gonna get rid of this or put it to the side because I know I don't use it as much as I want to. It's not really my color and I just never reach for it. I reach for other powders instead. Um, I prefer the shade 20, which I do have over here in the back. But yeah, I'm just going to set this to the side. Next up, I have this little container with some lipsticks that I know I can get rid of some in here. In here, um, I pretty much have this like contour stick that is almost empty. So I'm going to keep it and use it up. But I know I have some lipsticks or lip glosses in here. Like the Kylie ones. I have three Kylie lip glosses that I don't reach for at all. I just thought that I was going to use them way more. But y'all know I love a matte lipstick. I think i don't want to first of all this lips lip gloss came like empty like i used it maybe once or twice i don't know i feel like it's just a little scammy which kind of makes me sad because i really wanted to like have a lot of product in there but like i said i don't use them so this one's the newest one that i have and it's like brand new and i haven't really used it and i know there's more product in here than that one so i'm gonna keep the middle one and get rid of the other two so these two are see you later and then i'm keeping the other one I almost want to get rid of these, but I really like this color from Smashbox. And the other one, I'm going to try to use up a little bit more because it's brand new. So I'm not going to get rid of it just yet. But if I don't keep using it, then of course I will declutter it eventually. But for now, I'm going to keep both of these. I actually have been debating on this one. I take it out and then I put it back in. But I used it today on top of a lip liner. And I do love this color now instead of like using a nude all the time. So, and it's a good drugstore lipstick. So I'm going to keep it and it's matte. See, stuff like this in a squeezy tube, I feel weird about selling so i might give it away um oh my gosh it's like dripping out it smells like cake it's in the color work wife it's a tart gloss um i'm gonna try to pull this out and see if i can use it up because it's pretty good and i love it for nighttime i actually just bought this nyx lipstick it's a tube lipstick and it's matte i love their suede lipsticks which is these um this one's in the color Dainty Days. If you want a really good bullet lipstick that's a nude, this is amazing. I love it. Perfect for ombre lips as well. I'm obviously going to hold on to both of these because they are newer and I enjoy them. This one I've used only a couple times. I don't know if I want to get rid of it just yet. But it is a good lip balm to use before makeup. So I guess I'll hold on to it because these are some of the stuff that I have is newer. So I want to keep using it and testing it out for videos and stuff like that. This gloss was actually a gift from my best friend. So thank you, girl. But um, yeah, I'm going to put this to the side because I'm not going to get rid of it. Obviously, I'm not going to get rid of this. Like you already know. It's like almost empty. We'll see if we can use it up. This e.l.f. lipstick I'm going to hold on to for a dupes video so this is staying and there we have the lipsticks that i use slash want to use up now we're going to move on to the concealers so i already know that this one is pretty much almost like a used up so i'm going to put this to the side for an empties video these Milani concealers, um, I know one is a little bit darker, but I use it to cream contour. I forgot about that one. And then this one is a little bit too dark on the left, but it's going to be a good one for summer. So I'm going to keep them. I can already tell you I'm going to get rid of this concealer because I literally can never get it to work. It's not my favorite. I prefer the matte one. So this one is going to go. I'm actually almost done with this concealer from Tarte. So I'm going to use it up and then get rid of it. I use this concealer today it's not like my i mean i use it pretty often just because i notice like it's very creamy and has really good coverage um i do prefer a lot of high-end concealers drugstore i have a hard time finding good concealers so if you have any recommendations let me know but i'm gonna hold on to it because i'm gonna keep using it and then of course i have these two from Too Faced, which i love one is a little bit lighter and then the other one's darker i have the shades um I have light beige and natural beige. I'm using natural beige right now, which I think is still too light for me, which is weird because I know I'm not as dark as summer, but whatever. So I'm going to keep them both because um, I could definitely use these up. And yeah, these are expensive, so I'm going to use them up. So these are all the concealers that I'm keeping. And then, of course, I'm getting rid of these two. 
over here um there's hair everywhere but we're gonna go ahead and move on to this section for foundations like i said i go through my makeup pretty often so i'm not like i don't have a lot of makeup to get rid of but whatever we don't use like i said we're gonna get rid of so this is the maybelline urban cover or dream urban cover like full coverage sunscreen makeup thing um it's in the color 228 soft tan which is a summer shade it is very pretty in the summer when i don't want to wear actual foundation even though this does cover it's very weightless and very pretty so i'm gonna hold on to it and of course for all these things that i'm using for summer if i don't use them of course like i said i'll get rid of them but we're gonna hold on to it for now a lot of the stuff i did buy like for during summer so it might be a little bit darker um like this like i said i bought a lot of the stuff during summer so i'm gonna keep a lot of it but this is the morphe like skin tint um i really like this it's very pretty it's just a little bit too little bit just a tint dark for me this is in the shade hint of almond yeah hint of almond but it is really good very lightweight covers very skin like so i'm gonna keep that in here i already know this is like dark so that's summer shade somewhat summer shade um very expensive i'm not gonna get rid of that this i do use this so this is the charlotte tilbury flawless filter honestly i've used this a handful amount of times i know there's still so much product in here i'm gonna see if i can depop this obviously like it looks super used up because being in my vanity the letters scrub off but i know there's still a lot of product in here and this is super expensive and i bought it with my own money so i don't want to get rid of it but i literally just don't use it this is actually almost out so i kind of want to put it to the side in my use up bin so i might do a video of that because or like project pan or something i don't know i'll have to figure all that out but i know that i need to put this to the side because it's honestly i don't know how old it is it's not that old but i know it's time for a new one how long do these last okay these don't have an expiration date but i mean i don't know i feel like these could like only last so long um but i'm gonna put this to the side and use it up i have no idea how much is in here um i know this is kind of old i might be able to figure out the date when i bought this um because some stuff i buy when juicy jazz like tests it out which you know i watch her but I'll have to like really start like dating um when i buy my stuff so i know when to throw it out but um this might be a little bit empty honestly this isn't my favorite it's not even my color so i'm gonna get this or i'm probably going to pull this or give it to someone who i know it'll match i mean this actually okay no this does match me but um i feel like i could go a little bit darker but i don't know i'm gonna just probably put this to the side i don't know if i'm gonna get rid of it but i'll show you guys everything that i do get rid of and put to the side this one is brand new not actually no well it is brand new but it's my summer shade so i'm gonna keep that so this bite beauty um foundation the micellar foundation is really pretty very lightweight um i do like it i think it is a little bit tan for me but it still works i used it like yesterday and i think this is going to be really good for summer so i'm not going to get rid of it it's brand new so i'm going to keep using it because i do enjoy it on no makeup makeup days and matte velvet you're crazy if you think i'm gonna get rid of this because i love this stuff it is my you know obsession Alrighty, so as for primers um this is a little new powder so i'm not gonna get rid of that in here i don't have many primers you guys know this is brand new i use it on special occasions i just got the hourglass i use the milani this one is almost used up actually this is such a good primer i'm gonna keep this and use it up because it is bomb i got it in gratis and it is a good one so i kind of don't want to use it up just to use it up but i know i love other primers but this stuff is glue i love it so i'm gonna put it to the move I'm gonna move it into the bin of the using up makeup. And that's that. This is another concealer that I missed, but I'm obviously gonna keep it. Um, I love this stuff, so yeah. Okay guys, so we went through powders, foundations, concealers, primers, and some lipsticks. Um, so we're gonna see what I can for sure sell what i can like depop and what i'm gonna give away and what i'm throwing away and also we're gonna go and see what is gonna go to the pile of using up so i already know i'm going to be getting rid of this for sure so no more elf concealer since this is not as like sanitary as a pump i'm gonna probably give this away to a family member or somebody that i know that it'll match like a friend or family this is going in to the used up pile because it's pretty much empty. This Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Filter is going to go on for Depop to sell. This e.l.f. highlighter is also going to be Depop if you want to purchase it. 
these lip glosses are going to be given away and not sold i don't know what to do about powders like this um i'm gonna i might uh give it away to a family member or friend this is going to the used up pile and this is going to be donated as well and then lastly this is going to the using up pile this is what we decluttered so all of these are going to be probably given to family or friends this is going to be used up because they're almost empty this is empty so that's gonna go in a bin for a video and then these are going to be depopped <laughs> 